Hi, this is Dr. Pat. We're looking at loans and mortgages. Uh, just did an example of a car loan in the previous video. Now let's do one for houses. So a loan for a house, it's got a special name, it's a mortgage. But the formula, same thing. So the math applies to mortgages, uh, loans for houses, as they do for loans for cars. All right, so the example that we're playing with here is that we want to calculate the monthly payment for a 30-year fixed rate home loan of $100,000, interest rate of 8%. Uh, I know the 8% uh, currently in 2014 is not uh, really applicable, um, but um, just using it for an example. Okay, so uh, the key thing I want to look at is this fixed rate. That just basically means this rate of 8% is going to be the same for the whole 30-year period. There are different types of mortgages that you can get. You can get uh, a mortgage where the interest rate varies, so a variable rate. Um, it just all depends on whether you're going to roll the dice to see if in the future interest rates go up or they go down. Sometimes that's a good investment. I would uh, definitely advise you to go talk to a financial advisor for to figure out when those times are. But uh, let's take a look at uh, just our fixed rate, our very basic type of mortgage. Okay, so uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got uh, N of 360 because we've got 30 years of monthly payments. So that's 12 times 30 for 360. Our interest rate is 8%. Our present value, the loan amount that we have, is 100000 Our future value will be zero because we're making payments to reduce the balance to go to zero to pay it all off. We're looking at uh, payments uh, and compounding periods of 12. So they're monthly, 12 times a year. If you plug that into the calculator that we have to calculate our payments, it's the same formula that we would use for a car loan. Um, our negative power here because the balance uh, is decreasing, and so that's what we have. We end up with a payment of $734 per month. And so that's what we have. That's how we do our calculations for our mortgages. If you're using the calculator, you just go ahead and input this data, and then move the cursor on top of payment and you hit uh, alpha solve you will end up with a negative uh, 734 just because remember that's payments that you're making that's money that's flowing away from you okay so that's what we've got there now just kind of a little bit of uh, background on, on interest and payments and so I found this nice graph here this is a really wonderful graph uh, the $734, that's our payment that we're making each month. And so over that 30-year period, how does the payment, where does interest kick in? So the blue area right here vertically represents the amount of interest that we would make for that payment of 734 throughout the time period. So what we see here on the dotted lines here is in year five, um, most of our money is, of that $734 payment, most of that is actually going towards interest with a little bit, little bit of it actually going towards reducing the balance of paying off the $100,000. So in this example, in year five, uh, $634 is actually going towards interest and only $100 goes towards reducing the payments. Uh, the principal. So that's basically what's happening at the beginning is that our balance is not going down too quickly in the beginning because there's a lot of interest in that payment. Okay, so in the next video, we'll start looking at a really good example of refinancing a mortgage. Thanks and have a good day.